Hey guys, welcome back. Most of us are working on Jenkins automation tools. So when we install plugins, we use plugin management to install plugins whenever there is a requirement comes to install a new plugin. So what happens if there is no internet? And how you will install the plugin using the plugin management, right? So in this video, I'll show you how we can install plugins without the internet. Means offline plugin installations. Let's see, I'll show you step by step how we can install the plugin. See, whenever you are going to work in an organization, definitely there will be no internet connections because you are going to be work on intranet. And intranet, you cannot access to the Jenkins server to install plugin. And in that case, we should know how to use the plugins offline, right? So let me show you, uh, if I just log in, so normally what happens when you install the plugin, so you have to go to the manage Jenkins there and under manage Jenkins, normally you use this plugins section here. And what do you do? You just go to the available plugins and search for the plugin and then install it, right? Suppose in our case, suppose let me just try to install one plugin called MS Build, okay? So I'll just go with MS Build. Now we can see we have this MS Build available. So what we normally do is just select it and install without restart or download now and install up this. So these are the two options available and we can, um, we need internet to install this. Okay, so now I'll show you how without using this, how we can install it, right? So suppose what I need, I need MS Build. And one more thing guys, uh, so whenever you are working on, on on an organizations, uh, remember, uh, you definitely, your organizations will have these plugins kept separately in a different server. So what you have to do, you have to get these plugins downloaded and install it manually, right? So you have to, so in my case, I have the plugins kept under my server that is dev.ranjitswine.com MS build. Under this server, I have my MS build plugin available. You know, this plugin extensions is .hpi, right? So let me little maximize this and this one. So what you can do, either you can download this one, right? And click the URL. So let me show you, if I just go here, go to the advanced settings, right? Without using these options, what you can do, you can use advanced settings. Under advanced settings, you can find here, deploy plugins. Right. So normally what you can do, you can download this plugin, whatever there, just click it and it will be downloaded. So once it is downloaded, what you can do, choose the file and select the HPI file and done. So it will, once you upload it, it will click on the deploy, it's install it. Right. Also, same time, what you can do, you can provide the URL. Suppose my plugin URL, what you can do, right click and get the copy link address. Go here and paste the address over here, right? So this is the address. Once you paste it, you have to just click on the deploy, right? So what it will do? It will deploy. And remember, to do this also, you need internet connections, right? So now how we can do offline? So what you can do first, you have to download this .hpa, msbuild.hpi and keep it right. I have already downloaded this one. So let's discard this one. And in my download folder, I have already msbuild.spi file is there, right? So what you have to do, uh, once you download it, just log into your Jenkins server. Suppose, let me log into my Jenkins server here. Okay. Let me quickly log in. Then can start running this one. And we have to provide the user ID. So the user ID is C2 hyphen user. So I have this server actually installed the Jenkins installed on the EC2 instances. Okay. This is one of the EC2 instances. Connect. Now I connected to my Jenkins server. So uh, here I have connected with normal user, EC2 hyphen user, and definitely you need to uh, change the user ID to Jenkins. So if, what do you do? You have to do SU hyphen Jenkins. Make sure that you have Jenkins ID created and everything is installed under this Jenkins, right? So 
the password. Okay. Now I just connected. If I do ID here, you can see the changes, right? Now, uh, as soon as I changed my user ID, I'll be logging to the home directory of that user. So this is the Jenkins home directory, and all the Jenkins applications like the plugins, jobs, workflows, everything will be there, right? So if I just do ls you can see here all the informations related to the Jenkins are available, right? And in the Jenkins form directory, you'll find there is one plug folder called or directory called plugins, right? So all our plugins will be kept under this folder, right? Let's go to this folder or directories, plugins. And if I just do ls like this here, and you can see all of these plugins are available in the plugins folder. So any plugins you install through Jenkins, everything will be available under this particular plugin folder, home directory of the plugin, and there it will be stored, right? If I do build up here, so this is the home directory of the Jenkins user. Under this, we have the plugins directory, right? In this plugin directory, what you have to do? Simply, you have to copy the .hpi file, right? What you have to do? Whatever the .hpi file we just downloaded, right? If I just go to my download folder, let's go to the download folder. We have this msbuild.hpi, right? Let's copy that one to the Jenkins server. So what I can do? So here, let's copy this file to the Jenkins server. This is currently in my local machine, right? So I can use SCP to copy this one. MS builds the SPA. So let's first copy to the user's home directory. And from there, I'll copy to the particular path, right? To the plugins directory. There. So we're not there. This Jenkins dot then sheet slide. Okay. So the word what I gave here, if I just give you uh, EC2 hyphen user, the server name and to the home directory of the user, right? So click enter. So it's now copied. So what you can do, uh, just go to the Checking server here, right? Go to CD home EC2 hyphen user. This is the home directory of that user. So it says permission. Let me come out from the Jenkins user, right? Yeah. See, this is the file now available here. This is the file now available. So what I can do here, I need to update this one to this plugins. Folder, right? So let's first copy. I'll use sudo here to copy and msbuild.hpi. Just copy this to this plugins directory. So for, for this, you don't need any internet connections, right? Simply use copy this one to from that directory to the plugins directory, right? So now it is copied. Then, so what I can do here, see? dot hp ms build dot hpl is copied so you can see here all the plugins whatever is available already installed is a format is having a format dot jpi dot jpl but the plugin which we downloaded is dot hpi so simply what we have to do we have to rename this from dot hpi to dot jpl right so let's do sudo to ms build dot jpi what i did just renamed okay so you have to just give sorry um there's a type you should give mb right to rename a file in linux we use mb so just rename this file from dot hpi to dot jpi right ms build dot jpi it ended so it is renamed see it is now renamed so what you can do Simply after adding this one, so what we can do, we can restart the Jenkins server. And one more thing, you can see, guys, as I copied using sudo, here we have the user ID and the proof uh, written as root root. So let's change this to the Jenkins. So what I can do, we can use ch phone change ownership. So I can just use Jenkins colon Jenkins 
Jenkins colon Jenkins just give ms build dot jp right okay so what's it operation not permitted so we have to make ourselves first sudo again right sudo so now the permissions will be changed see now it has the permissions of Jenkins and Jenkins group now what we can do after this uh, so what you have to do we have to restart the Jenkins so let me show you before that if I go to plugin sections again there I'll show you the plugins is currently not available right so if I go installed plugins whatever the plugins are installed if I just search for ms build see ms build is not available okay now what I can do let's go ahead and restart the Jenkins so simply what I can do I can use sudo system CPL restart or you can just simply stop Jenkins okay stop Jenkins now if I go and refresh it would have stopped now see not reachable right now let's start the Jenkins server start it will take a few seconds to start start up the Jenkins because there are lots of plugins to load and all the jobs, workspaces, everything needs to be loaded, and then it will. Now, if I do the system CTL status, you can see status Jenkins is now active and running. Now, let's go and refresh this page. You can see here it has been come up now. So, what you can do, let's go ahead, go to the plugin system here, the plugin option here, bro, here. and now if I go to the installed plugins and check the new ms build plugin will be available so here what you can do uh, let's go to the install plugins now and search for the ms build okay so if i just search for ms build here see now the ms build plugin is available right so this is how you have to install without the internet like offline plugin installations Okay, same time if I go here and uh, check for the build options, right? Where do you check? If I go to the manage Jenkins over here again, let's go there. And if I go to the system and here, or let's go to the tools. Okay, let's go to the tools. If I go to the tools and here we'll, op we'll get the UI option of the MS build. Okay, so gradual C, we got this. As soon as we install the plugin, we'll get this option available in the Jenkins. Now you clearly understood how we can install the Jenkins plugin without the internet. If you have any doubt or any questions, please do write me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your questions.